Dear candidates, this video has been created to help you take up a test on the LNT EduTech platform without any issues. Kindly concentrate on the video and follow the steps that have been mentioned here to make sure that you can log in without any issue and take up your test successfully. The first step, open up a Google Chrome window and copy paste or type in the URL that's been provided in the mail to you. On the next screen that ensures, please copy paste or type in the registered email ID for the test which is a which appears in your email and the password for the same the next screen that appears you'll get an option to start your test please check if the assessment name is correct in case you're depending upon the subject that you have chosen and click on start next an equipment check screen will appear which basically checks all the hardware requirements of your system it will check the browser if the browser you're using is correct post which it will ask you to allow access to the camera please click on allow once the camera check is correct a green tick will appear which means that your camera is working fine next it will allow access it will ask for access to your microphone please click on allow once The moment the microphone check is completed, it will show a green tick there. Next, it will check for your network. A green tick will appear once that is also correct. The final part of it is you are required to share your screen so that the proctoring session can start. Out here, out of the three options that appear here, please click on entire screen. Select this particular win entire screen window and then click on share. Please note till this is done, it will not allow your session to begin. So doing a screen sharing with a full screen is mandatory. Once the screen check is once the screen sharing has been enabled, you will get the option for next. Please click on next. First option would be to take your photograph. Please make sure you're sitting in a well lit room. Click on take photograph. And then the moment you get this op this message of snapshot saved, click on next. Next, it will ask you for an ID card. Idly place the ID card with the photograph in front of your camera and click on take picture. In case you face any issues in capturing the ID proof, just let click your face itself and click on take a picture. The moment you get this option, the picture has been saved. Click on next. Next, it will once again ask you to share your screen. Click on the third option, entire screen. Select the entire screen and click on share. Once again, the same option will reappear. Click on the third option, which is entire screen. Select the entire screen and click on share. The first screen that appears for the test is the instruction sheet for you. Okay, Please read through this instruction sheet. It's for a period of 10 minutes. You can take the complete 10 minutes. Or in case you feel that you've read through the entire thing, you can just scroll down okay, and click on next. Meantime, if you want this particular window to be not be disturbing you, just click on hide so that the screen sharing window is hidden. You can click on next. If you don't click on next on the completion of this 10 minute duration, it will automatically move to the next screen. Okay, Here, please click on next. It will take you to the main test. Right? Every question appears one at a time. You will find four different options. All you need to do is read the question, select the option that you feel is most appropriate and click on next. And your answer will be saved. Please note that you need to click on next in order to your answer to be saved. Okay. Here you have a, a toggle view where it also shows the summary of what you have done, how many questions you have answered, how many questions are left, etc. Okay. You can also scroll and go to a particular question by clicking on this toggle screen and then select the option. Similarly, the moment you click on next, 
it will save the option in case you want to go back you can click on previous and you want to change an option just select the new option and click on next and it will save it similarly you can keep navigating through all the questions one by one or use the toggle screen and keep moving across the duration of the assessment which is remaining would appear right on top here so please keep an eye on it okay. and make sure that this window where your face appears is available all the time because in case this is not available it means that your recording is not happening and your test will not be considered valid avoid talking to anyone or having anyone around you because you will always you will end up getting a particular message which will actually reduce your score in the examination here since i'm talking there's something called there's a conversation in the background noise so please make sure there are no background noise there's no person in the background and you don't try to open any other browser while taking up the test okay similarly once you go through all the questions there are four sections in this particular test okay at the end of the fourth section you will find on the 30th question an option to end the test please click on this option only when you're ready to submit the test as you click on end test you will get an a pop up which clearly states how many questions are unanswered by you and it will ask you if you really want to submit the test only if you're very sure that you need to do it click on ok and it'll take around 30 seconds for the test to get submitted please do not close the browser window before this screen goes to the next screen okay it's very important that you get a confirmation that your test has been submitted hence please wait patiently for 30 seconds after clicking the end test button on the completion of this duration it will automatically move to another screen as is shown right now once it comes back to your first page where you had started off from and you see that the start button has got grayed out it means your test has been completed once that's done you can click out click on the logout button that would mean your session has been completed and then you can just close the google chrome browsing window hope this is in, this information is helpful and it will help you take up the test without any issues thank you for watching